Hi guys, so in this video, we're going to have a look at adding animations that have animated objects running with them. So for instance, if you're going to use a bicycle animation, you would have an animated bicycle that goes with that animation. Or if you would use, for instance, a drumming animation, you would have a drummer animation, a drums animation that go with it. So let's go ahead and add a bicycle. So I'm going to select the character animation suite, go to effect controls, and of course, select the character animation suite from here. Make sure to always select that. Now go to effects and presets, and I'm going to type in cycling, so that I find it. Of course, you will find it popping up in there immediately. Let's choose cycling fast. I'm going to select cycling fast start first. Simply double click on it. Let's hit you on our keyboard to see the keyframes. Now go to the end keyframe and make sure that this is selected once again. Hit loop. And then I'm going to hit loop another time. And go to the end of, of the frames in here once again. And hit end right in here. Just like that. So now I have the start, loop, loop, and end. And to make sure that I know where the start and end, I'm going to put some markers in here. So I'm simply select the layer. I'm hitting the start button on the keyboard and finding where each animation starts and ends and putting those so that I know. So I'm going to close the character animation suite now and I'm going to bring in the bicycle. Now to bring in the bicycle, what we're going to do is we're going to import the scene designer and let's open our project in here. Let's go to the project in here, go to scene designer and simply import the scene designer right over here. Wait for it to load. And when this is loaded up, we can open the scene designer, go to scene design object and let's just search for the bicycle. So that would be under countryside. And there is bicycle cycl cycling fast in here. Since we're using the cycling fast animation, we should use the bicycle cycling fast in here. So let's check that we have used the cycling fast animation in here. Yes, it's the cycling fast animation. And you have in here bicycle racing. So let's just import that. And I'm going to import this composition, this image, right in between the character so that it, it is right under the right leg, but in front of, of the torso. So let's see how that looks. Of course, we need to reposition this. So simply hit S on your keyboard to scale it down. I think around 65% should be good. And basically play with this until you get it. And let's see. We just need to move it a little bit forward. And there we have it. So that's our bicycle. This bicycle is already the size of this start. Now I just need to add the next one. So to add the next one, I'm going to duplicate this, Control D on your keyboard, or edit and duplicate from here. And then I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and drag and drop right over that one in there. Now, since this was shorter, we need to extend this and make sure that you position it right at the start in here. Just like that. And cut this with it so that it continues to this. Now let's replicate this one since it is the loop. So let's see where that marker was, right over here, right over there. And let's put another loop in here. So duplicate, control D, and place it right over here. Trim this one. And now finally what we're going to do is let's zoom to the end part in here. Duplicate this. Move it so that it fits right where the marker is. So let's see the marker in here. And it needs to be here. Trim this one. And then change this by holding Alt on our keyboard to the and animation. So there you have it like there. Now, if we 
zoom out in here and preview it. We should see it properly in here. And now with this rendered, we can see how the animation looks. So you can see that it is interacting with the bicycle accordingly. Oh, very nice. Now one thing too that we notice is that the bicycle animation have a shadow on its own and the character has also a shadow so they are kind of looking a bit odd in here so we can simply in this case hide the shadow for the character to only have the shadow for the for the bicycle so that's basically it just one small thing to to notice that there are also some animations that will require you to to parent certain objects with certain places so for instance if we have a skateboard animation let's go ahead and right after this give this a skateboard animation so from effects and presets find skateboarding let's find skateboarding start in here and i'm going to hit you to find the keyframes go to the last frame in here and simply make sure that the character animation suite is selected double click on the start then double click on the loop so go to the end and double click on the loop make sure character animation suite is selected and double click on the loop i'm not going to make the end as well in this case since this is enough for explanation purposes and as you can see now the character is basically kind of jumping on a skateboard and moving in here now let's move the work area to here and in this case we need to introduce a skateboard and to do that we're going to go to the project we're going to find the skateboard it's right over here let's place it right under the feet in here we can place it under everything in here and position it to be under the leg right over here in this case one thing that you will need to do make sure that the pointer is in the middle of the animation in here of the skateboard animation and simply parent the skateboard so we're going to parent this skateboard to the so let's go to the character controls and in this case there are some whole body animation here where the, the body is going to the front and to the back forward and backward so we're going to parent it to the full body control in here so go to skateboard and simply parent that so parent that to the full body control right over there and if we play this we will see that it will follow the, the body animation right over there and that's basically it So as you can see, this skateboard is following with the, with the leg and with the whole body in here. So that's basically it for objects that interact with your characters with animation.